Hello, and welcome to this section of the Chemistry Tutor. Uh, in this section, we're going to cover something so central to chemistry that I would venture to guess that almost everyone watching this, uh, when you think of the word chemistry, is going to associate chemistry with a chemical reaction. That's just what, that's what it is. I mean, when you talk about chemistry, you talk about combining elements to form new substances in a chemical reaction. So this is our first section. We have finally built up the skills where we can intelligently talk about a chemical reaction and what it is and how we write it down, how we represent it. And we're also going to talk about what we call balancing a chemical reaction, which is going to be a huge part of any chemistry class and definitely a huge part of your exam. So definitely pay attention. Everything you've learned up till this point is going to be important to know to conquer this. So what is a chemical reaction? Obviously, you start with some things, you put them together, uh, you know, and then they react, so they reorganize on some atomic level, and then you get some stuff out. And we all know that what you get out might look completely different than what you put in. You might take hydrogen from the air, right, which is a flammable gas. You might burn it with oxygen, which is a, you know, invisible gas. Two things that float around in the air, right? You make water, which is heavy, liquid, and looks nothing like a gas, right? Well, of course, you can heat it up and make water vapor, but I mean, the, the net result of that reaction is going to produce water, which is a totally different substance than the things that went into making the water. And that's why we have such an incredible variety of things around us, from plastic here, you know, that's made of carbon and hydrogen and oxygen, uh, you know, to everything else that we have as well. So, how do we write down a chemical reaction? Let me write down a very, very simple one so that we can talk about it without getting wrapped up in and being too intimidated by it. If you take carbon, right, and you add to it oxygen, then what you will get is carbon dioxide, or what you can get is carbon dioxide. So this is basically a chemical reaction. You write it down almost like an equation. You have the things on the left that are added together, so to speak. You put a plus sign there. That means that we're taking these two things and we're mixing them together and we're allowing them to react. And on the right-hand side, we have an arrow here. This, this indicates the direction that this reaction proceeds. It means that they come together and they form a product. Then you write it all together in terms of your molecular formulas that we've been talking about. In this case, it's carbon dioxide. All right? Now, you might look at this and say, well, why did he put O2 here? Why didn't he just put oxygen here? And that's because, if you remember, we talked about these diatomic molecules in the volume one of Chemistry Tutor. Some Gases just like to exist in paired, uh, bonded pairs. And what they're called diatomic means two, two of them stuck together. Uh, oxygen is like that. Hydrogen is like that. There's a number of others that I've listed for you in the past. You're going to have to remember them because when you write your chemical reaction, you can't just write C plus O because you can't buy a bottle of oxygen and just has single oxygen atoms floating around. It just doesn't exist. Oxygen always pairs up by, you know, in pairs of two to form O2 gas, or if it's hydrogen, H2 gas. There's, there's a few others out there. So that's why it's C plus O2 yields. This is what you say. You don't usually say it equals. You say that it yields. It means they come together and it yields something new, carbon dioxide. Now, let's talk a little bit about terms. The stuff on the left-hand side of the arrow is called the reactants. That means the stuff that you mix together in the, begin to be in the beginning. The stuff that you get on the right-hand side is the products. Now, I've intentionally chosen a very simple reaction that we are going to all come to terms with. I mean, we can all, we've all burned firewood. Firewood has carbon in it. Burns with the oxygen. That's what burning is. Burning is just putting things together with 